Hey guys, I was just in a moment um, where I was thinking I have I don't have anything to say. I'll just make a video vlog. <laughs> so I did. So I'm doing it. Um, I have this. I guess I'll just talk about the moment, which is kind of nerve-wracking. But I have this uh, hair right here growing out, like in the middle of my skin, and I just want to pull it out. You hear the kids screaming outside? These kids, they scream. They're amazing but they scream. Uh, so I gotta pull this hair out. Gosh, I guess I'm just kind of bored because everyone left. I had people staying here and it was really cool. It's cool with people gone because people aren't really gone. That's the cool thing. Like if it was just me in the apartment alone, it would be dull, but I've got this, you know, internet MSN where I can like communicate with people real time. It's still not quite the same as having people over. I mean, it's not, not nearly the same. In uh, the other night, eh, I'm not going to go back into it. I was just watching this Renetto thing. Um, he went into Miles, to Blade 376, to Miles' uh, stick cam chat, like, I don't know, on sat last Saturday, Miles w did a 24-hour stick cam chat for, I think, for UNICEF, yeah, UNICEF, and Paul went in there, and uh, Renetto, Paul, he uh, just started talking, apparently, but for about 46 minutes and 25 seconds, this guy, uh, Gresky, like, must have recorded Renetto's video chat, because it's just Renetto, Renetto, it's Paul, being, being Paul, talking about himself, and uh, why, why people don't like him, and why, how he, why he doesn't understand, it's a lot of like, uh, I don't know, self-depreciating, but then him kind of playing the victim, being like, I don't know why everybody says I'm this, I'm just trying to help. It's all ego, Paul. You do care. You wouldn't you wouldn't read emails from YouTube out loud if you didn't want fame. I'm not even angry. I'm not even like even remotely annoyed actually. I was it was kind of enjoyable. I watched about seven and a half minutes of it, but then I, I paused it. He's an interesting guy, this Paul Robinette. I guess he's just got a lot of people trying to contact him at once. And he's um, trying to deal with it the best he knows how, or the best he... Trying to deal with it in the best way yeah, available to him, I guess. I mean, what can you do when you have 15,000 people? I mean, it's not that extreme, but 15,000 subscribers all trying to contact you. Like, it's fucking intense. I got 1,200 subscribers. And I usually get about eight, eight to fifteen text me like text messages a day. I get a mix of them, like on MySpace and on YouTube, and uh, that's pretty time-consuming. In the video, I was gonna say the video responses are kind of time-consuming too. They were, but then I kind of I noticed when I slowed down, so did the responses, and then I got kind of disappointed. Because as, as much work as it is to keep up with people and to, and to meet new people and to constantly be communicating, like I don't want any other any other life. It's really great. It's I'm, I'm learning so much about myself, and I'm making friends, I'm making friends, people that I will always know for the rest of my life. Like this isn't a video game that you you turn off in three hours and everything goes away. Every we're all real people, like just getting to know each other. It's not a game. I, I stopped playing World of Warcraft, my video game addiction, and then picked up YouTube, and it's kind of like, it feels like a game, like I'm looking at it, and the web page, it all looks like a game, different buttons do different things, but it's like, it's real life, we've just, we've just created a technological uh, way to communicate, it's like to mass communicate. Now my Firefox is acting up. It keeps giving me some error message on Yahoo. 
Um, Kiff's coming over, and we're going to go over to the theater, and uh, I'm going to help them build the set for their new show, Mulholland Christmas Carol, which is opening on Friday, which is the 25th, 24th. I think it's opening the 24th on Friday. That's pretty cool. Apparently it's a funny show. It's about the Owens River Valley. How, in California, I don't know if you guys know this, but like back in like uh, the 20s, maybe the 30s, um, there was this area called the San Fernando Valley just north of Los Angeles, and it was just, just dry, hot, uninhabitable, essentially, desert for the most part. And they fucking went up north, like five hours north of here, or something like that, to this, the Owens, Owens River Valley. All these people were living, they had a big dam up there. And uh, they just stole the water. They took all. They took the water and they secretly built stuff to divert, like pipes or dams or I don't, who fucking knows. And they diverted the water down to Los Angeles to the San Fernando River Valley, and that's how we have the valley, like Burbank and Glendale, and Culver, not Culver City. Um, I'm not too familiar with it up there. Studio City is up there. Universal City. All that stuff, I, I, I believe, was just desert. It's crazy. They just stole the water. And so that place is like a wasteland now, the Owens River Valley. It's, it's, so this is a musical about it called the uh, Mulholland Christmas Carol. And it's about the guy that instituted the Owens River Valley uh, fiasco. And, but it's told like through the Christmas Carol, like he's Scrooge. And the, the ghosts of Christmas past come and present and future come and talk to him. That was like a, to me, that was a boring explanation of this show because I'm not even I like want to shut off the camera right now I'm so bored with myself I guess this is what happens when I, I don't have anything to talk about well that's not true it's not that I don't have anything to talk about I just don't really have anything bothering me right now it's the first time in a long time okay I'm going to keep this pretty short so it's watchable so it's not fucking 50 minutes long see you